Hi guys, welcome back to Rumorg TV. I am Rumorg Executive Editor Andrea Subasati, and I wanted to let you guys know that we've got a new item out from our Rumorg Rippers line, a new bobblehead, and this one is HP Lovecraft. You might remember our Vincent Price one from a couple of years ago. HP Lovecraft is available now, so hit the link below to get your own, and we hope you enjoyed this episode. See you next time. Hey everyone, Yasmina here. Welcome back to the Rewind Zone here on Rumor TV. And today we're gonna talk about one of my favorite movies. It's got nails, it's got guns, it's got nail guns, possibly massacres. So stay tuned. Welcome to the Rewind Zone. My friend Andrea, who is the executive editor of Room Org, she contacted me and asked me to partake in the Halloween issue of Forgotten Slashers of the 80s. I was very excited to be a part of this. But obviously, we don't have enough time to cover all of the movies that I wanted to talk about. And today, we're going to talk about one of my favorites that didn't make it into the magazine, and it's called Nail Gun Massacre. Nail Gun Massacre came out in 1985, and it was directed by two dudes, Terry Lofton and Bill Leslie. This is the only movie that they've ever directed. Nail Gun Massacre is a rape revenge movie, and it fits into the slasher genre. I'm not a huge fan of the rape revenge genre, but it ties in well with the slasher genre, especially the ones that are forgotten, because I'm a huge fan of very low budget movies. When I'm looking up a movie on IMDb and if the actors don't have profile pictures, that's the movie that I'd like to watch. Right off the bat, when this movie begins, opening scene, first thing that you see, rape, immediately. So right after the rape happens, you see this very, very angry man. What the hell? Damn. with the hairiest shoulders you've ever seen on a man. And that's probably why he's so mad, because he's so grossly hairy. <laughs> the killer in Nail Gun Massacre only wears this army camouflage jumpsuit, gloves, and a motorcycle helmet, and the voice is disguised. It's not money I want. It's revenge, asshole. But it's clearly a woman. It's got a womanly figure. You can see that the hands have tiny fingers. It's very obvious. I love the voice though. The killer's voice sounds like they recorded it in a bucket and then later distorted it in the studio. And there's also this weird moaning sound that she does. It's like, uh, 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 uh. You killed him! I'm sorry. You just don't understand. Okay, so one of my favorite scenes of Nail Gun Massacre is when she sneaks up on this dude who's taking a piss against a tree, and he turns around and he pisses on her, and she says in her voice, Well, you just pissed me off. And then she shoots him in the fucking dick. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> 80s horror movies have been objectifying women. Let's be honest, there's tits in every single movie. We never get to see dicks. But then in Nail Gun Massacre, when she shoots them, the fuckers in the woods, like he just falls over, it's just his wang. It's amazing. We need more dicks in movies, come on. Men need to be objectified in movies. There's all these really interesting one-liners in this movie like they hired the guy who writes for arnold or something you should i'm not shooting on you there's another scene where she kills two girls and she's like this must be two for one day uh, 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 uh. so there are people involved trying to find the killer there's a sheriff and a doctor but the doctor 
wears just this jean jacket with the collar popped throughout the entire movie. He kind of reminds me of the guy that Elaine dates in Seinfeld, Tony, and Jerry's like, hey, Tony, hey, I'm a cool guy. Tony. Yeah. Hey. Right. Okay. Hey, Tony. Yeah. Hey. It's actually amazing. He kind of also looks like Joe Piscopo as well. <laughs> the VHS is actually really rare. It's uh, high on my list of tapes that I need to get. I have the movie on Blu-ray, but I still want it on VHS. The cover alone is fantastic as well. So if you guys ever find it for a decent price, let me know. <laughs> Anybody home? Shouldn't get so excited. Not over me, anyway. Who are you? What do you want? Oh, I want to win some gas. It's time to do your nails. <laughs> you want to look pretty in hell. Thanks for tuning in and watching this episode of The Rewind Zone here on Rumor TV. If you would like to read the other movies that I chose on the Forgotten Slashes of the 80s, you can pick up Rumor Magazine. It's out right now. And watch Nailgun Massacre. It's highly entertaining in the worst way possible. And don't forget, be kind, rewind, or else you'll get nailed. <laughs>